Hello, my friends. Do you love these delicious apples and would like to discover how they are grown around the world? Okay, in this video today, let's go to the two largest apple producers, China and the United States, to see how farmers care for and harvest apples. At the same time, we want to clarify whether apples grown in the US or in China are better. According to statistics from the China Apple Association, in 2021, China has about 2.6 million hectares of apple growing land, accounting for nearly 40% of the apple growing area across the planet. China is also the world's largest apple producer. Apples are one of the important fruits of Chinese agriculture, with many different varieties, such as Fuji apples, red apples, dwarf apples, green apples, gala apples, etc. Apples are grown in many provinces, such as Shandong, Xinjiang, Xianxi, Hebei, etc. First, we go to Shandong, a province known as the Land of Apples, in Hainan to learn how farmers grow and harvest apples here. With an apple growing area of up to 1.2 million hectares, accounting for nearly 20% of the country's apple growing area, Shandong apples have high quality, beautiful color, sweet and crisp taste. Fuji apples and red apples are the two most popular apple varieties here. This is what happens at the Fuji Apple Nursery, the first important step for apple growing to begin. This man will select seedlings about one hand high and remove damaged ones. This work is necessary to avoid the apple tree not being able to grow into a mature tree. After leaving the nursery, thousands of apple trees will be planted. Here, these seedlings can be grafted onto existing apple stumps or planted in the ground. Apple nursery and planting work takes place in the spring, when the weather is cool and there is plenty of light. These are one-year-old apple trees. At this time, apple tree care needs to be focused because it is about to enter the flowering and fruiting stage. Apple trees bloom in spring, usually from April to May in China, depending on variety and climate. Apple trees are self-unfruitful, meaning they need pollen from another apple variety to produce fruit. This requires cross-pollination by insects, mainly bees, transferring pollen from one flower to another. The average bloom time for apples when pollination can take place is about nine days. One of the major challenges to apple pollination in China is the decline of wild bees, the main pollinators of apple flowers. Causes of bee population decline include habitat loss, pesticide use, disease, parasites, and climate change. In some areas, such as Mayoxian County in Sichuan Province, wild bee numbers have declined to the point where farmers have resorted to hand pollination, using pollen pots and paintbrushes to manually pollinate their crops each flower. This is a labor-intensive and time-consuming method, and the cost is about eight times higher than using bees for pollination. At this time, Chinese farmers often use biological bags to protect fruit from pests and increase quality. Bio bags are paper or plastic bags with breathable holes that are wrapped around apples when they are small. Bio bags help create beautiful colors for fruit, reduce the amount of pesticides, and prolong storage time. In addition, apple growers in China also use agricultural mulch to cover the soil, prevent grass growth, and retain moisture. To overcome these challenges, some strategies used by apple farmers in China are planting diverse and native bee-friendly flowers to attract and maintain wild bee colonies. Reduce or avoid the use of pesticides that are harmful to bees. Rent honeybee colonies from beekeepers during flowering season. 
and the way you are watching is that the farmer is hiring honeybees that specialize in pollinating flowers to come to the farm to work. On average, honey beekeeping earns an income of $19 an hour for Chinese farmers. From September to the end of November is the time to harvest apples. Fuji apples are a type of apple with round fruit, pink red skin, crispy and sweet flesh. To harvest Fuji apples, growers often use biological bags to protect the fruit from pests and increase quality. Bio bags are paper or plastic bags with breathable holes that are wrapped around apples when they are small. Bio bags help create beautiful colors for fruit, reduce the amount of pesticides and prolong storage time. When the fruit is ripe, the grower will remove the bag and harvest it by hand or machine. But in general, in China, it is more common to harvest apples by hand. In one hour, this group of 20 workers harvested about 1,500 pounds of apples. In addition to Fuji apples, there is another type of apple in China that also has a very interesting way to harvest. That is Xinjiang red apple. This is a type of apple with large fruit, bright red skin, soft flesh, sweet and fragrant taste. In the fall, the weather in northern China is very dry, so Chinese farmers have come up with a way to dry red apples right on the tree. Therefore, apples drain water quickly and are medium spongy. People harvest by hitting the tree trunk hard to make the fruit fall. Then collect and bring them home for pre-processing, drying for another two to four days before they are finished and released to the market. This can be considered the strangest way to harvest apples in the world. Each year, Chinese farmers produce an estimated 44 million tons of apples, accounting for nearly 50% of the world's apple production. Saying goodbye to the apple fields in China, we return to America, the second largest apple growing country in the world after China. Here's what's happening at an apple farm in Washington state during harvest season. About 50 workers are here to pick apples. They are Mexican and Venezuelan immigrant workers. Every year during harvest season, Thousands of these workers come to the farm to pick apples and earn about $21 an hour. According to statistics from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, more than 5,000 apple growers in the United States grow apples on about 322,000 acres of land in many different states such as Washington, New York, California, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Total apple production in the U.S. in 2022 is about 4.88 million tons. Are you curious if there are many differences between growing apples in the US and China? First, it's about apple varieties. America and China both have many different apple varieties, but there are some apple varieties that are unique to each country. For example, Fuji apples are a popular apple variety in China, grown mainly in Shandong, Hebei and Shanxi provinces. Meanwhile, red delicious apples are a famous American apple, grown mainly in Washington state. Regarding growing methods, the US and China both have their own apple growing methods, depending on the type of apple, geographical region, and commercial purposes. For example, to grow Fuji apples, Chinese people often use biological bags to protect the fruit from pests and increase quality. Americans can also use biodegradable bags, but not as commonly as in China. Americans often use other methods to care for apples, such as pruning, spraying, watering, and fertilizing. A very important factor is food quality and safety. This is perhaps the biggest difference. The US and China both have food safety and quality standards and regulations for apples, but there can be differences in the level of compliance and inspection. 
For example, American apples must meet standards for size, shape, color, ripeness, moisture, sweetness, and durability. American apples must also comply with regulations on pesticide residues, preservatives, and colorants. In China, there are similar standards and regulations, but there may be laxity or fraud in the production and inspection process. For example, some Chinese apple growers have been using recycled paper bags laced with banned pesticides to wrap their apples since they were babies. This type of pesticide can cause poisoning and affect the health of consumers. Chinese apples can also be chemically aged to increase crispness and sweetness, but also lose the fruit's nutrients and natural flavor. If it were you, would you choose American or Chinese apples? In your opinion, which country is the best apple producer in the world? Let's discuss below this video. For now, goodbye and see you in the next videos.